and uh, welcome to this demo of the Brunetti Mercury. Amazing head, this thing is just insane. This is basically a 50 watt, all tube, hand wired head made by Marco Brunetti in Italy. Uh, we're running it through uh, the Brunetti, uh, this is the, the custom work 2x12 uh, vintage 30 cab, also made by Marco um, and designed by the man himself. Uh, there are six 12x7 tubes in here that basically are preamp and then tube buffered effects loop and there's probably a rectifier tube in there as well. Uh, and then there's a couple of EL34s giving 50 watts of power. This thing is incredibly loud um, given that 50 watt rating. Actually quite a bit louder than most of the other 50 watt heads I've heard. We've got two channels. On the right hand side as I'm facing it here we've got the clean channel um, which will actually go into significant crunch territory as well using the preamp gain. Um, we've then got on the left hand side again as I'm facing it here we've got the overdrive channel uh, which has a uh, foot switchable or front panel switchable boost on to go into crazy overdrive territory. Uh, the foot switch uh, is included with the unit and has got uh, the facility to switch in the in and out the power, sorry, the effects loop, uh, do channel switching, switch in the boost, so on and so forth. So if I just go through the front panel with you, uh, starting with the clean channel, uh, we've got preamp gain, allowing us to go from super, super nice uh, kind of fender-ishy clean tones um, even though this has got EL34s and it's got that kind of Fender twinny kind of clean channel on there, which is a great match with the overdrive side. Uh, preamp gain, volume, 
Again, insanely loud, tons and tons and tons of clean headroom if you roll the preamp gain back. Treble, middle and bass, so an independent three band EQ section with a bright switch which was on for my demo at the beginning. And then moving across, we've basically we just ignored this section for the second, we've got the channel switch, we'll come back to this. Um, we've got the overdrive section which has got uh, gain again, preamp or pre-gain, volume, treble, middle and bass, so again independent three band EQ. An edge switch which basically is like a, a bright switch, the equivalent of the bright switch on the clean channel. And then a boost which is a, I believe a pre-gain boost which is going to add more saturation basically to the sound. And then we've got the more volume which is basically like a solo boost and again this is switchable via the front panel and on the foot switch which is built like an absolute tank but we haven't got it here to show you unfortunately but it's really, really well made. So what we'll do is we'll start with the clean channel. Um, on the back of the unit, we've got um, serial and parallel effects loop, which is switchable in and out through bypass uh, and with send if you're using it um, in either mode. And there's uh, the standard kind of array of uh, ins and outs, sorry, outs, I should say, for various speakers, uh, 16, 8 and 4 ohms. It can be switched between. Uh, as I say, we're running it through an 8 ohm 2 by 12 vintage 30 cab here. Um, so let's have a listen to how it sounds. We'll start with the clean channel and I'm selecting that just with the channel selector switch here, pushed to my right here as I'm facing the amp. Uh, Preamp gain is about halfway. Volume is pretty low but still very, very loud because um, the preamp gain is higher. Treble, middle and bass as you can see them here and the bright switch is on and we get this. I'm going to use the uh, position four on my uh, guitar here to give a kind of spanky sound. If I just play a chord you'll hear exactly what's going on. <laughs> Unbelievably tight and dynamic um, with a lot of punch. You'll probably find through the mic, we're using SM57 here, just a single mic on the left hand speaker, just slightly off the center of the cone. You'll get some of that punch, but trust me in the room, it's super, super punchy with lots and lots of tightness on the bottom end, um, even with the bass wound up quite high. So on this channel, if I just disengage the bright switch, have a listen to what difference that makes. Same kind of deal with the, uh, the playing. <laughs> So still really punchy with the bright switch off. If we roll the treble back even further, we can get and roll the uh, tone control down on the guitar. Select the neck pickup, nice jazzy tones. <laughs> versatile clean channel. If we bring the volume down, bring the treble back up, right, I'm going to crank the pre-control, pre-gain all the way up, this is going to get very loud. Uh, this is how much crunch we can have. So it will go into full-on crunch territory and if you wanted to boost that even further obviously you could stick a boost pedal in the front or a drive pedal and uh, really crank that even further. I won't turn the volume any, any sorry up any more than that because we're getting into serious ear deafening territory here. 
So let's bring the preamp gain down further and just show you how much clean headroom you've got. So with the preamp gain all the way down pretty much. Nice thick but still very sparkly clean tone. Bring the tone control back up on my guitar. Okay, so again, if I crank the mids, bring the bass up a little bit, drop down the treble, and roll the tone control off on my guitar again. So very versatile, very cool sounding clean channel that's got that kind of Fender vibe but will go into kind of Texas blue spanky territory if you push it really, really hard. Okay, so switching over, if we go to the overdrive channel, uh, what we've got set up here at the moment, I'm just gonna flick the boost out. The switches are both off, so the boost and the edge are off. Gain is just over halfway. Volume, about a third of the way up. And then as you can see, treble and uh, treble's rolled down in the middle and the bass are uh, fairly high up. This amp has basically got a lot of presence in the power amp section, so it cuts really, really nicely. So even when you roll the treble off, you'll still get um, a nice cut in the mix um, if you're playing with a band or if you're recording. So this is the pure sound without the boost using my bridge humbucker. <laughs> Like a crunch, crunchy sound basically, like a crunch channel, but with lots and lots of cut and a nice tight bottom end on there. And the bass is just over halfway, as I say, so moderately uh, cranked. Um, if we now engage the edge switch, which again is like more presence, more top end, we get this. <laughs> Okay, so uh, much more sparkle on the top end. Still remains really tight and the bottom end is filling out the sound as well. Take that out again, let's try the boost. So again, not touching any of the EQ controls, the volume or the gain at this stage, we've still got a lot of flexibility. So with the boost engaged now, back to my uh, bridge humbucker. <laughs> great lead sound, tons and tons of saturation. So I'm just gonna crank the gain almost all the way up now. Um, volume, treble, middle and bass, we're not doing anything with particularly. The boost is on, so about, um, well, three quarters of the way up now, and we get this kind of sound on my bridge humbucker. It's a tiny bit of noise going on, but you'd expect that, and it's a very low noise floor, considering how loud the amp is at the moment. So here we go. <laughs>
So more gain than most people would ever need, but it's there if you actually need it. Um, now in terms of the EQ controls, uh, let's just bring the boost out so we've got slightly less gain. Uh, have a listen to what the mids do first. We scoop those out. Okay, then moving on to the treble control. Do with the appropriate hand. Okay, um, if we roll that all the way out, we can get really nice smooth lead tones, again, engaging the boost. So really fantastic sounding. The bass, if we just bring the treble back up a little bit, let's disengage the boost. Um, all the way up. So it's not getting flubby at all. It's not losing kind of definition. It's just adding thunk to the bottom, bottom end is a good way of sort of looking at it. This is a really tight sounding amp. Okay, and then finally, just bringing things back to a slightly more kind of normal level, the more volume. So this is the solo boost. So basically, as I kick this in, um, I can choose how much boost I have here. Uh, I don't know the exact dB rating that you're adding at the maximum level, but um, you can obviously add a significant amount of decibel boost in there. Uh, it's off at the moment. <laughs> We put it on. <laughs> Woo, amazing, absolutely amazing. So Back to the clean channel. That's the Brunetti Mercury. Uh, amazing amp with the uh, custom work cab underneath. Matching cab, obviously. Uh, we were using, in terms of effects, just a little bit of reverb and delay you heard. I was running into an Axe FX2 using the effects loop so you could hear how that sounds like. Obviously, we can switch that out of the circuit as well if we desire. So, hope you've enjoyed this demo. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Brunetti Mercury Head. Phenomenal sounding amp. See you soon.